Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Hamid. I just finished my first year in electrical engineering at university and I seem to have a bit of a fascination for iMacs, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Mac OS. So here's another iMac that I just bought, got it from a car boot sale, paid £20 for it, expecting it to not work. And to my surprise, when I turn it on, nice chime and it loads up however we do have a slight problem enter your system lock pin code to unlock this mac this mac has been locked to find my iMac so um i don't actually know the solution for this yet i'm gonna do a bit of research i'm gonna guess the up op my options are um if it's completely a no-go rip everything out of the iMac and then put in the Raspberry Pi, that's fairly simple, I've done that before. So I could take out the the motherboard from the iMac and then replace that, buy a second motherboard from eBay. That could work. Or maybe I need to replace, do the same with the uh, hard drive as well, I don't know. Um, or maybe there's a way to reset it and keep everything. I don't know as of yet, but I'm going to guess those are my three options. Obviously, the easiest would be to reset everything without gutting out the, the iMac. Secondly, would be to replace just the motherboard or the um, hard drive. But then I'm not convinced how fast or how good this iMac would actually perform, considering it's 11 years old. Um, so, I may end up in the end, either way, just pulling out everything and just putting in a Raspberry Pi. So, I'm kind of leaning towards the Raspberry Pi idea. I just like, I prefer that to, I'm not a big fan of Apple, and I'd rather be able to customise it completely, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maybe uh, in the next clip you'll see me just completely gut this thing out. See you in a bit. Alright, so I'm going to try the reset the iMac. Um, now, what I've done is, I've opened up this RAM slot at the bottom, and then what I've done is I've taken out one of these, so it comes with two two RAM chips, one gig each. I've taken one of them out, left one in. Apparently when I try and do the reset, I want to have changed the amount of RAM that was there. And then that apparently makes a difference. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so I've currently taken out the RAM slot. So let's see what happens next. I should be able to cycle the map and reset some key RAM thing. So just plugged it in. Turn it on. Command option P. Oh, oh looks like it's going to be working. So I need to let it cycle three times. Sorry. Oh dear, I'm excited, guys. I mean, I don't know why, because I've already said I don't need a Mac or an iMac. But just be cool to see if I can get it to work. So I was supposed to, I should have let go by now. I ended up doing it four times, but. So apparently that should now boot. It should work. And I suppose I probably could upgrade the iMac OS and upgrade its RAM and SSD, I suppose. But I like the idea of using a Raspberry Pi instead. I mean, that's just silly. If that, if that works, that, wow, look at that. And I'm in. So apparently now, next up is to reboot the iMac. So we have return, 2.4 gig hertz, uh, Intel Core 2, 1 gig RAM best, because I took uh, that one out, so 2 gig RAM. So reboot it now, and then see if we can actually wipe the iMac. Alright, so that worked. Looks like now it's just in setup mode. Restore. Now it is downloading, so we'll see what happens when this finishes. OSX could not be installed on your computer, so apparently there are no packages that were illegible for install.
All right, so I had to follow some YouTube video whereby I had to disconnect it from the Wi-Fi and then go into the utilities terminal and then change the date, then reboot it. I've done that now, and now it seems like it's going to let me install. Uh, okay. Alright, so we're in. Um, we are now. Yeah, so that's it. So the iMac is now fully set up. The iCloud lock is fully gone. We've got 3 gigs of RAM. So it's a 20 inch early 2008. I'm now faced with the decision of gutting <laughs> the whole thing out, which I don't think I will. I don't know what I'm going to do with this now, but it's just nice to know that I've got it fully up and running. It cost me 20 quid and it took maybe like an hour and a half, which is worth it for me. I mean, I learned a lot. I love the look of the iMacs, I must say, it's, they, they are beautiful. I feel like I want a Raspberry Pi in this. Alright, so I'm going to attempt at installing um, or upgrading the operating system. Let's go DOS Dude 1. Alright, Catalina Patcher. Download the latest version. To be fair, I mean, the, the iMacs are responding well. Obviously, I've got nothing installed right now. Amazing that some people have the skill level to create something like this. What I'll do is I'll leave a link to um, his patcher down below and you can watch his video on installing it. His explanation is going to be a lot better than mine. So that should start, yep. Cool. Uh, download a copy. Start download. Cool. It's going to take a while to download. Cool, alright, so I'm currently setting up the Catalina patcher. So I'm making, I've gone to create a bootable installer. Like I said, you follow the link in the description and then you'll be able to do this as well. Cool, and so wait for this to finish. Alright, so that's finished. So, um, pretty sure I need to reboot the Mac and boot from the USB. So I need to reboot it and then hold the option key to get into the boot options and then boot from the USB. Here we go. I'm in. Alright, so if I boot bit, I need to um, go into instructions, wipe the hard drive and then install Catalina. Catalina, agree, agree, install it here, over the drive that we converted, yeah, and we wait for this to install again, so, alright, so, I believe I'm in the setup now, okay, we're getting somewhere, like I said, I've got land, it's fine, data and privacy, Apple, the company that cares most about data and privacy, for some reason, I doubt that. Blah, blah, blah. Terms and conditions. Yeah, no problem. Yes, I agree. The new operating system. So, I shall leave it here with creating an account. And then, oh, it's going quickly. It's fine. But yeah, we'll pop out when it's done. There you go. Latest OS installed. Looks like, looks, looks amazing to be honest. I put it on dark mode. So you can see it's, it's it's slow, it's not, I mean I don't know if I'd be able to use this, at, this is slow. I mean it's only got 3 gigs of RAM. iMovie, go on let's download iMovie. I can't even imagine using iMovie on this thing. Let's get pages. Oh yeah, so it's working. Alright, let's take a look to see what the browser's like. My main test to see if it's usable is YouTube. I mean, man, the app, 
I must say, like, you know, this is an old screen and it looks beautiful. 12 years old. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I typed in YouTube ages ago <laughs> and that's just loaded now. Oh dear. I'll probably take a look into RAM upgrades and SSD, but ideally I'd rather not. Very, very slow. Look at this. Go on, let's watch some messy. Suarez, I completely forgot Suarez even existed. Bayern Munich vs Chelsea, 4 1, 7 1 on aggregate. Bloody hell. Bayern, that's disgusting. Alright, let's hear what it sounds like. Look at this. This is atrocious. So. I mean, this is how you would go about doing the uh, iMac, but whether it would be worth it or not, I don't know. Sounds nice. Let's try that sound. Wow. Speakers are nice. Well, it's doable, isn't it? It's not. It's not great, but I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if this is is usable for me. We'll see. My main use case would be coding and GitHub and stuff like that. But still, even when I'm coding, I like to be able to switch on to YouTube or whatever. Who knows? Anyways, well, it's fully working now, so um, I shall end this video here. I don't think I'll be upgrading the iMac anytime soon. I've got too many other projects that I've got to try and work on, so um, yeah, if you like the video, give it a like. Alright, so final thoughts on the iMac, or well, unlocking it. I used it, tried to use it a fair bit today, and there appears to be a lot of just issues with it in terms of, I mean, can't even log in. No, I can log in, I think. <laughs> there appears to be a lot of issues with it just in terms of it being slow. There also seems to be some things that just aren't, they don't seem to be quite right. Now, I haven't used Catalina, the OS before, but for every, I, would, I, would, I don't think I'd recommend it. I'd probably go with the Mojave um, OS install, which I may do next. But it just seems unusably slow. Like as you can see, even now logging in, this I assume these are two windows, yeah, which is just taking a while to load. Now, I don't know if that's the hard drive, and my guess is that you know if I put a 20 quid SSD, 120 gig hard drive in, that will probably speed things up. And then if I upgrade the RAM, it's currently got three gigs in it. If I spend an extra 20 quid, that will bring up to four gigs of RAM. I don't know how much a difference that would make. The max you can get it up to is six gig of RAM, but for a four gig RAM, so the max you can have this machine at is six gig. You can have a four gig one and a two gig one because obviously it's got two RAM slots. The four gig RAM slot is fifty quid. So if you're looking at if I'm if I was going to upgrade this just to six gigs of RAM with an SSD, you're looking at fifty quid for the RAM, twenty quid for the SSD. And that's going to be a small storage on 120 gig um, plus the 20 quid expense. Now you're looking at what 80 quid, which you could buy them off of eBay for that much. So whether that would be worth it or not, it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it'd be worth the effort for me. For me, I'm I'm just I'm not a fan of Apple products at all. I like the iPad and I use my iPad mostly because of notability and being an engineering student. But the OS the the Mac OS and all the rest of the stuff, it's just, it's a pain in the butt, so, for now, 
I'm not. I'm going to leave this iMac here. Uh, just leave it on the desk for a bit. In the future, I'll probably install Mojave. See how that runs. See if it's smooth. I'm guessing it's not going to be. And then, which uh, for me, I, I'd I'd rather use Pi. I think than use Mac OS. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with this. Would I recommend you going through and doing all of this? No, I wouldn't. Yeah, I think that's it for me. Cool. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.